The first biggest mistake is when you book your meeting and you have 30 minutes and you take a full 30 minutes. Okay. Wait, hold on. So I have to... I have to sit. I have to make thirty minutes, no matter. What. So the idea is, you as what? a staffer, you typically for a meeting you can book thirty minutes. You can ask sure. for more, but yeah. so the challenge is as a staffer, I would have, I would have eight to nine to ten meetings a day, starting at eight thirty and going all day. Okay. And things start to run together, and especially if you're going really long at me. I mean, ultimately, if you're spending thirty minutes to make your pitch, your pitch isn't very good. Okay. That's what I was getting. You're at. Spending too yeah. long. Okay. You're spending too long, and you're taking up. Like, I think some of the best meetings I had was somebody came in, they had their story down, they had right. their ass down, they asked if I had questions and let me converse with them about it to, to fill right. in gaps of what I needed. Um, but ultimately, we were like, that's it. Like, uh, respect your time. And, um, you know, they would do a leave behind or whatever. And that was it. And I was really appreciative because then I could actually digest it at my desk or look over it. Because And also, you have to type up meeting notes. Of course. Not everybody does this, but some some staff, you have to type up meeting notes so the LD can see it or the chief of staff and the member can see who came in and what they were asking. Yeah. It's like a chain of command in that sense. And so you, at the end of the day, you do nine and ten meetings, and then you're having to do the paperwork on those things, right? And what do you mean? There's well, a lot of paperwork. There's there's a lot that that people and obviously don't appreciate or understand if they've never worked on the hill sure. when that happens. But if you get thirty minutes, use twenty. Okay. 